I've, ha I've thought about several things that I would like to do for the next one. I don't know which order this is going to happen in. I would love to do a solo album. Um, I really love having the freedom to use the full voice of the piano in, uh, without um, the restrictiveness of performing with other people. And I, I just like to, I would love to explore that in an album setting, whether that's the next one or not, I don't know. Um, I'm finding that a lot of my church roots are starting are coming out in my playing more and more and more. It's not that I grew up in like a gospel church or anything, but just just the constant structure and the sounds that came out of you know classic hymns and four part writing and and those structures. I think affected my playing a lot more than I realized when I was younger, and it would be sort of fun to go back and do an album with a trio or a quartet or something, and have it almost be like a sacred album that took that music, some of those hymns and some of those some of that writing, and reimagined it a little bit in a style that is meaningful to me, but really, um, yeah, explored that source material. So that could be I don't know next or two or three down the road. And uh, I guess the, the having a first album was definitely something that was an intimidation. But the biggest intimidation is having something where it's an album with my writing on it. And I've never been an, a comfortable writer. But yet, every time I sit down and there's not the pressure to write, there's no issue with improvising. So obviously, the raw ingredients are there, and I just need to get over myself and and start doing it. And so, at some point, to me, my biggest accomplishment, regardless of what the result is, I think would be putting out an album that had my own stuff. <laughs>